All right, guys, Bradley Dorch, winner of the Costa FLW Series Southeastern Division on Wheeler Lake. You didn't really win in Wheeler Lake, though, by any stretch of imagination. I guess first off, congratulations. Thank you. Second, can you kind of tell us how you got it done? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I mean, I started the week trying to fish the main lake, and uh, just I never could get a bite going. I fished points. I fished bluff walls. Uh, geez, I bet I burnt probably 150 gallons of gas in the first uh, two days of practice. and. Uh, Finally, I mean, I, I grew up South Alabama fishing rivers. Uh, okay. That's what I'm comfortable doing. And uh, I'd heard about the Elk River, never been up the Elk River. And uh, uh, my co-angler or the guy practicing with me, I said, come on, we're going to go for a ride. And we went uh, till my mapping card run out. No kidding. Yep. Yep, my mapping card run out, and uh, I told him, I said, we're going to start from here, and we're going to fish our way. Work start, on up. Yep, we're going to we're gonna start fishing back out to the lake till we find something we like. All right. And, uh, it, you know, it, it worked out. We only had a few bites here, a few bites there, so when it come game day, that's all I had to go to. So that's what I went. Okay. What did you end up doing when you were up there? Because... I mean, obviously you were way up the creek, but it's not like it was a shallow little muddy type backwater place. There was some depth to this. Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, most time my boat set anywhere from 20, you know, 15 to 20 foot of water. And uh, originally in practice, the bites I got were on laydowns hanging over the channels. All right. Um, and I would get it halfway to the boat and the fish, the fish were actually suspended in the tops. Really? And then when you'd get it about halfway to the boat, they would come out of the top and eat it. Okay. Well, something changed between uh, the you know the the first day of the tournament and the second day of the tournament. Probably the biggest key for me was is uh, at the very end of the day, the first day, I skipped a, a swim jig all the way up to the front, you know, of the top, and it went under a little overcut bank. Right up on it. Right. I mean, dead up on it. Hit the bank, and when it hit the bank, I had one about three and a half eat it. No kidding. And then that, that keyed me in because I struggled all day the first day. I mean, only, uh, um, I think I, I probably got that bite an hour before weigh-in. Okay. And then I ended up with 12.8, I think, the first day. But the second day, I knew I needed to make sure my bait made it to the bank every single throw. All righty. Uh, you, I watched you fish a little today. You were fishing very meticulously. I mean, you were crawling along the bank hitting every little piece of cover it looked like did you feel like it was you know were the fish just not in a chasing mood did you feel like you really need to hit them with it uh yeah <clears throat> a lot of times like this morning whenever i would uh originally when i got there they were eating really good so whenever i would skip the jig up there it would hop once hop twice and about the time it hit the bank they oh. would actually go ahead and just eat it no kidding yep. that's awesome so um i had actually the what I weighed in today, I had it by probably 8.15 this morning. And then I noticed that the bite started slowing down, so that's when I went to the uh, to the pocket crawl on a lighter weight fluorocarbon line and then just tried to pick, you pick, know, apart. pick apart the cover little by little. All right. I don't have a, your whole fishing career at the top of my head right now, but I know you're coming off a real near miss down at Santee Cooper. Uh, obviously, you had a great season. What's it mean to get the win? Oh, it, it means the world. I told my wife, uh, you know, before the season started, I said, uh, if I could make a top 10, that would be, you know, that's what I want to do is make a top 10. And I should cash check every tournament. And, uh, you know, I had a bad, bad start at Okeechobee, and then I fished another event uh, and had a bad, bad Florida event at Toho. And, uh, you know, she said, look, if I got to pay your money, you're going to Santee. And Santee, I got it turned around, ended oh, up yeah. in the top five there. Uh, left there, went and fished a different event, ended up with the top five there, and then I had a horrible practice, and I was in 30th in points coming into this, and I said, look, if I, I told her, I said, if I can catch a limit two days, you make the championship, make the championship and get out of here. We'll call it, we'll call it a day. It'll be a success, and to win it is, it's insane. I never in a million years thought I'd win it. Awesome. Well, uh, man, congratulations on the win. Congratulations on qualifying for the championship. That's a big deal. Chance to go to the Forestwood Cup, and man, it's been a great week. Great Absolutely. season. Absolutely.